I got this table saw about a month ago and I want to create some accessories for it, particularly a uh, outfeed table that swings down when not in use. I can't have a permanent table here, I just don't have the room for it in my garage. So a table that flips up is what I'm going to work on today and I think I'm going to put an extension thingy on it as well. We'll see when I get to that point. I've got this one and a half by one and a half inch pine that I'm going to use as kind of the attachment to the tail. I just need to drill some holes and to find those I'm just going to put this up here where I want it and hit it with a hammer. Now I know where to drill those holes. Next I'm going to put on this piano hinge. So now I need to get this board on here so it's perfectly flush on this end and I'll show you how I got this distance in a little bit. I'll use clamps to hold it in place while I attach the piano hinge on this side. I had to recess these holes so that these carriage bolts wouldn't sit proud of the surface. So I just have this clamped up here to show you how I got the height for this. I had um, measured up along with a half inch piece of plywood so that this was the same level as this. Actually, I have it slightly lower than the tabletop, um, about uh, I'd say an eighth of an inch or so. I did that on purpose because I don't want any boards to catch the slip because this piece will actually be here so there's a gap and if a board comes and this is too high the board can actually catch this here. I can support the back end of this table so that it's a little higher um, but I like to have the front edge just a little bit lower than the table. That's my wife playing piano. She's pretty good. This is half inch plywood. It's birch plywood. It's not Baltic birch, but it's uh, decent plywood. And I'm using that for the top of the extension table. I've got some support pieces that I will glue and screw on here. I had these boards with these dados cut in them from another project 
and I put in this piece of three quarter inch plywood. This is going to be my extension table. Um, so this, that's going to go in this area right in here. The blade is right about there. So I'll put these two boards just a little bit wider than this. And so this will be able to extend out. I'll have a board attached to this, as you'll see. And I'll be able to pull this out and get a little bit more extension uh, for longer cuts if needed. I think I'm going to do a pretty simple leg support for this. I've just got a long 2x4 here, so I think it's 42 inches long, and I'm just going to brace it at the base of the table saw and lean it up here, find the angle that it needs to be. I'll cut it and then I'm also going to cut another board that I'll attach with glue and screws along the front. So the way this works, it comes up, put it at the base, have to lift it up just a little bit past, bring it down, that pulls right in there, nice and strong. Where I put another board on here, and then this will be another support that I'll have. So now if I have a longer board, I can run one out and I can use my outfeed table there. If I need a little extra because I'm running a longer board, I can bring this out and it'll support it pretty far out. I drilled a hole through this brace and into this drawer so that I can run a dowel in here and then when I fold it down it won't, the drawer won't fall out. So I've got that pin in there to put it away and just drop that down and then I can store this. They have 
hangers here for the fence. I can I usually have the fence up here, so I can put that there, and it's all put away. I think I'll get some good use out of this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.